Hey folks, welcome back to one of my in-car videos. I've been away for a while because I've not been feeling too well. It's the flu season. I mean, it's crazy. It's, it's piping hot right now. It's 37 degrees. But I guarantee you in a couple of hours, it's going to be pouring with rain. And the other day, there was actually rain and sunshine. I could see shadows. Sunshine and rain. Yeah, just, just like the song. So anyway, um, I've been driving this now for a week and I've been trying to think of ways and, uh, to try and impart this car to you. And uh, you know, <laughs> this is the funniest thing. After 25 years, the only thing I can come up with, with this, for this car is that it's nice. It really is nice. So okay, what am I talking about? I'm talking about a Volkswagen. Of course, I guess you can tell by the seats. Diehard fans of Volkswagen, you will know by the seats. Full leather, it's the Volkswagen Passat. This is the... 1.8 Comfort Line Plus. Now there's there's like four variants within the Passat line. They've, they've discontinued two. I think there's a High Line and a Comfort Line Plus now. And uh, for, after, after one week, you know what? After one week driving this car daily, I've still got 620 kilometers on the on the uh, range, the range estimate. Okay, the car was brand new when I got it. Okay, it had 90 kilometers on it. 90 kilometers. I mean, a test car with that with that new car smell. That's something that we don't get very often, but once in a while we do and so I've been driving this car now for about a week I'm on, I'm on my way to actually return it and pick up something else it's little brother actually which looks like a, a smaller version of this and that's my biggest gripe with Volkswagen these days apart from the Beetle and the ex uh, now discontinued Scirocco they're all kind of starting to look alike don't you think I mean from the front it's like the Jetta is a smaller version of this Passat and the Vento is a smaller version of the Jetta they all have their own personalities, of course. I mean, they all come from the same car maker, but uh, just like siblings within a family, they all have their own personalities. They all have their own quirks and their own uh, USBs, and um, characters are always different. And it's the same thing with cars. And, you know, it's amazing. I just drove the Beetle the other day, and now it's also a Volkswagen. It's just amazing. Okay, I'm going to put it on a auto hold now, which means I can actually leave it in D and take my foot off the accelerator, and the car won't creep forward. Just remember to have that button on before you do that because the car will creep forward. It's a 7-speed DSG uh, which has a little bit of a hunting problem uh, when it comes to stop and go traffic, a little bit but on the move, like where I was yesterday this car just sings, it sings along it does. Uh, somebody actually asked how's the ride with these 18-inch uh, with these uh, alloy wheels and you know what, <laughs> I have to be honest I didn't even realize they were 18s. I mean, I don't know what Volkswagen has done to the suspension system but it is absolutely amazing. It is comfortable on the move, and yet when you put it in sport mode, oh yes, there is a sport mode and there are paddle shifts. Can you see these paddle shifts? Yeah, there are paddle shifts. So it's a little bit of a Jekyll and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde kind of personality thing. You've got a very comfortable daily cruiser, and when the roads open up and <laughs> you're on your own, just snick the DSG down to the S and Bob's your uncle. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just amazing what this car can do. <laughs> Even the sound from the engine gets a little bit raspier and a bit growlier. Uh, it just transforms its personality. You can hear a little bit of it if I put my foot down, but I'm not going to do that now because I'm actually in traffic. Uh, so, yeah, that's the thing. After 25 years of doing this job, the only thing I can come up with, damn, this is a nice car, okay? Um, people are really looking at this car because this current generation or the latest generation Passat, it's been around for a couple of months now. Uh, quite a few months actually, but it's still garnering a lot of attention because surprisingly, there aren't that many on the road and that, that's a big surprise to me actually because this car drives really well and uh, if you're looking for a D-segmenter uh, yes, it is a D-segment car if you're looking for a D-segmenter a daily driver, whether it's going to be a company car or whether it's going to be your uh, family car and you, yeah, yes, of course, there are three other German makes that you can think straight off the top of your head but if you're looking for something a little bit different, a bit understated, in fact, I would say very understated, the looks of this car really, um, okay, first off, looks are, are subjective. I'm not, I'm not gonna talk much about looks, but I really like the way this car looks. From the outside, they've, they've sort of tapered down the front a little bit. It's got a more aggressive looking front over its previous generation, and I really like that. It's, it's sleek, it's more streamlined in front, and I don't know what they did, but it works, it really does work. I just wish it didn't look so much like all the other, you know, Volkswagens out there short of the SUVs. Oh, but that said, the SUVs are starting to look a little bit alike too, don't you think? But uh, that's just my opinion. Anyway, 
back to the case at hand, if you're looking for something in the D segment as your daily driver, company car, whatever, and you're kind of tired of the other three, although I don't know how you could be, but if you're kind of tired of the other three and you want something a little bit different, you've got to go check this out, definitely. Uh, oh, I forgot, of course, there's also Volvo, there's also a Swedish uh, car maker in, in, the, in the mix, but this, this, this is worthy of your attention, so yeah, definitely go, go check it out. Check out the pictures below and um, I'll see you next time. Hey, I'm back. There's something I needed to mention just now. If this, these new Volkswagens, they've got a funny emblem on the back. Um, apart from the Volkswagen emblem, of course. Oh, by, by the way, this one, it hides the reverse camera. It's really cool. When you slot it to reverse, the emblem actually sh tilts up and the camera comes out. It's pretty cool to, to see from the back. But anyway, the other emblem I want to talk about is what it says in the lower right. It says 280TSI. Now, we all know what the TSI stands for, but what is 280? So I checked the specs. This car has got 250, if I'm not mistaken, 250 Newton meters of torque. So I thought it was the torque, but torque says 280 uh, on, on the boot. So it's 250 Newton meters of torque, but it says 280 at the back. And then I found out from Volkswagen themselves is that if the car falls within a certain torque, like 220 to 280, it will just say 280. Okay. Okay, I, I don't quite get that either. If it's above 280, it'll say 320 or 350 or something at the back. So, yeah, I'm not really... <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I don't know why they decided to confuse people. Apparently, it's for the China market. Okay, they've got long wheelbase uh, variants over there as well, which, we, which they don't have anywhere else in the world. But apparently, yeah, it's, it's, it, it does denote the torque. Although, on this car, it's uh, a little bit more than... Uh, uh, the, the badge is a little bit more than what the car actually produces. See, I haven't gotten myself a, a better phone holder yet, so I'm just gonna have to make do with that one. Yeah, don't worry, I'm still here. Nothing, nothing bad happened. So apart from that, um, I've been driving. Like I said, I've been driving this car for a week. I really cannot find anything I don't particularly like about it. Uh, it's it's performed really well. Uh, yeah, okay. I I could say I don't quite like the way the DSG hunts uh, in stop and go traffic. And you might find that a little bit disconcerting as well. You might find that a little bit irritating in the long run. But uh, as far as a safe, um, and I mean that literally, I mean active and passive safety here is is, uh, is as good as they're ever going to get in any of the D segment cars. It also feels solid and secure, like how a Volkswagen should. And uh, maybe, you know what, maybe the only thing it's lacking is a, a personality of its own. You know, like the Beetle is quirky and fun, the, GT, the Golf GTI is, is uh, crazy and fast. The Passat is just really, really nice. So yeah, again, like I said, after all these years, all I can come up with is, dang, this is a nice car. So yeah, I would say it's it's worth your consideration in the D segment. There are a lot of there are a lot to choose from. If you're talking about new cars in the D segment, there's a lot to choose from. But uh, if you're looking for something safe, uh, slightly understated and yet stylish, hmm, yep, you you definitely got to give this car a look because uh, I think you're gonna like it quite a lot. Okay, so till the next time, gotta go return this thing. I'm gonna miss it a little bit. Maybe not as much as I miss the Beetle. Believe it or not, I can't believe that myself. But yeah, I do kind of miss the Beetle. But yeah, I gotta go return this now and pick up its little brother. So the next time I see you, it will be in the Vento. The car that I hate because it's only a 1.2 and it's faster than my 1.8. Oh dear. So anyway, back to you next time. See y'all.